Hi folks! Welcome back to another tutorial for earning your assessment stripes with PowerTeacher Pro. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to score an assignment. Please note that PowerTeacher Pro calls it an assignment, but we at Edmonton Catholic Schools know that it could be any type of assessment, a conversation, an observation, or a product. Once you log on to PowerTeacher Pro and have created the assignment, click the assignment name on the assignment list page. If you teach elementary, since you'll make all your assignments score types as collected only, the score column will only contain a flag as we see here in the score inspector on the right. The collected flag is used to indicate that the assessment has been passed in, if it's a product, or the assessment has been observed, or the conversation has been had. Most of the time your students will have the collected flag in the score column, but instead of clicking one at a time, input the first green check mark, then use this vertical fill button on the score inspector to fill for the whole class with a single click. If I see that a student needs a flag other than collected, I can just click on their cell, remove the original flag, and change it to what it needs to be. While I'm in the score cell, I can also input a comment. Comments are meant to be in the form of feedback. Stay tuned for another video about assignment comments. Once you put in a comment, the comment icon appears in the score column as well. This works for all the grades. If I'm a junior high or high school teacher, I can use numeric scores in addition to flags. So let's not forget from our creating an assignment video that you can choose all sorts of score types such as points or percentage or letter, which is a level of achievement. In grade nine and below, we also put levels of achievement for the outcomes we've attributed to an assignment. That is, of course, unless you teach pre-kindergarten or kindergarten, then we save those levels of achievement for the end of quarters two and four. In order to do that, you're just gonna click here on the outcome cell and use the score inspector to click in a level of achievement, or you could even type in the letters. So let's pretend here that this student receives adaptive programming for whatever reason and they can't complete that last outcome at grade level. So to cue stakeholders to look at the student's IPP to find out more details about the specific adaptations for that student, we're gonna use the special code ADP. Notice how it's purple once I click it in there, and that's going to tell me that it will not be used to determine overall final grade for that outcome for that student. So anything, anytime you see purple and italicized, that's what that means. It will not be used to determine an overall final grade. And we do have a video on special codes, so I'll link that video below. Uh, another thing to note here is that there's a horizontal fill button. Um, so let's go to Robin. If he needs the same code or level of achievement for each outcome, I can enter it once and then press this button to fill them all across in a single click. That's it for scoring assignment, folks. If you have any questions at all, please do give us a call at St. Peter Center. Thanks for watching and have a great day.